Hi, I'm Shrilla, and I'd like to ask, why sun? Well, I remember when I was in seventh grade, we had so many people in my school that we had to split it up so that half the people went to school from like 5.30 in the morning till noon, and then the other half went from like 12.30 until seven. And I got stuck into the later section, and basically just because of the way the schedule of my family went and because of the dark time of the year, I just never saw the sun. And I didn't know what was wrong with me, but I felt like I would be fine if I died. I just tried so hard every day not to cry and I was afraid that the worst things were gonna happen and I just had no love for life anymore. And I didn't wanna tell anybody because I didn't want anyone to know what was wrong with me. I didn't want them to think there was something wrong with me. And so I just didn't tell anybody and suffered for a whole year. Well, I was delighted to be done with seventh grade when I was, and my family took us on a big trip from Idaho all the way out to New York, and all of that sadness just melted away, and suddenly everything was, was good again. Well, we were traveling in this van that had windows all around, of course, and we were traveling with the sun beating on us, and we were so hot. And then as eighth grade started, I was so nervous that all of the bad feelings were gonna come back again. Well, they had built a new school to accommodate the bursting population of the kids my age in the city at that time. And so I went to a new school during the normal hours. And lo and behold, I didn't realize this till years later, but the sun schedule was back to normal. And I was just fine. Just like on our trip back to New York, I had all the sun that I needed and I was fine. And I didn't ever tell anyone that I had that problem until years later, which I'll tell you what it's instituted another problem. But first I have to tell you that 98% of us don't get enough sun. That's from a scientist, Zach Bush, who says we need to get outside more. We were meant to be outside more, not under the roofs all of our lives. So what, um, what good does it do to be in the sun? I know that my brother, I have a brother who um, lived up in Idaho, in Northern Idaho for a number of years. And finally he said, I just can't do this anymore. The sun would go down about four o'clock in the afternoon because of the longitude, the upper one of how far north he lived. And then he just didn't see enough sun. So he finally decided to move to Arizona and has been there for like 20 years and just loves it. He gets enough sun and he is glad now. So what does the sun do for us? Well, it gives us stronger bones, mainly because of the vitamin D that we're getting. We have a better mood, we have better sleep, better immunity, better blood pressure, less stress, better weight control. We can prevent cancer, decreases inflammation and bacteria. We increase our longevity. Uh, we have better brain function. Well, as I mentioned earlier, I had this fluctuation of sun differences that now I know affected my hormones. So seventh grade, you know, the hormones are coming in all new and fresh. And then after I had my first baby in, in uh, it was in the spring and I once again fell into a big depression where I remember telling my husband, I was like, nothing looks right. Everything looks dark and wrong. I know that it's supposed to be wonderful and I just had this baby and I love this baby and what's wrong, but everything just looks bad. And so I started finding myself gravitated toward the light sources, like the window and the doors and wanting to be outside, even though my baby was sleeping inside. And I realized how much effect the sun had on me. So I wrote down a list of things that I needed to do to be happy. And one of them was to get a daily walk in the sun which I have done for years and years, and I just need that sun. There's something about hormones and the sun. So we have increased hormone circulation for improved serotonin, that's the hormone that keeps you awake, melatonin, the one that helps you go to sleep, for good beta carotene, actually it's beta endorphins, beta endorphins that help you to have a better mood, and your circadian rhythm is on which if you go like on an airplane and you get jet lag, your circadian rhythm gets thrown off. Well, the hormones happen to be a really big thing that you get from sunshine and from vitamin D. So think about how the sunlight affects you in your life. 
think about how everyone says, oh, when you go outside, make sure you slather on the sunscreen. You don't want to get cancer. But you know what? We were made to be outside and we need to be out there long enough to get our vitamin D. So what I will do is I just let myself get that sunshine. And when I start to feel like it's too hot on my skin, which is after about 20 minutes or so, then I slather on the sunscreen. But generally to get my vitamin D, I just go outside and enjoy the sun for about 20 minutes. I set a timer, I put on a good meditation, and I get my vitamin D. And I've been doing that daily, and my vitamin D levels are good, I have good happiness, just everything seems to function better. Everything just kind of lines up just the way that I need it to, to be a happy, healthy person. So I'm going to encourage you to get your 20 minutes and just get out there into the sunshine. They say to just expose your skin enough. Sometimes I'll roll up my sleeves or my pant legs or sometimes even show my belly, get a little more skin there and get that vitamin D and get that beautiful sunshine into your life. Let it fill you up with those rays of happiness like it does for me and so many other people. Well, if you would like a life-changing program of all-around better health, I have put together a 91-day app-based program where you can improve your health, your exercise, and your better self-care so that you can be all that you and God intend you to be. You can find it by going to www.honeydohealthin91.com.